everyone. Okay, so this video is hard. I have started it like three or four or five times or recorded part of it because there's so much going on in my head and so much that I want to say. Um, and really what I want to do is I want to do a tapping round um, for kind of processing some of the the emotion and the pain and the the way that our hearts hurt when we watch other human beings do unfathomable things to other human beings which is like trauma is what it's called and um, everyone on the planet has some um, everyone on the planet has some and right now in this day and age um, certain populations maybe have more of it but the truth is is that like human bodies have been hurting human bodies for as long as the world has lived and the truth is is that hundreds of years ago it was it was even worse the ways that we physically hurt one another and that's something I'm feeling is I'm just feeling the frustration and the pain the overwhelm I think that's where I say like how do I make it better it's not just our cultural time it's that like literally this is what humans have done to each other for as long as we can live we've enslaved each other we've ripped body parts out of each other we've you know killed each other and we've been just mean to each other we've valued something in ourself over the life of someone else and uh, every single race and culture on the planet has done it to differing forms at different points in time and that's overwhelming to me and I want to do a tapping round to sort of address some of the the underlying energy of that because that's part of what has to change for any of this to change is that you and me and everyone of us as individuals have to really be able to like onboard like the trauma of the human race and be able to figure out how to decide to be different kinds of humans and I think a lot of you who are listening to this are probably already trying to do that. That's why you know me. <laughs> That's why we're friends. That's why our paths have crossed. But I just think that it's so overwhelming to do. And one thing with all of the feelings and the emotion and, um, you know, it's it's important. Like, it's important to get angry at something because that know, you know that it's important. And sometimes anger is what starts movements. But there's this real fine line where anger just becomes being mean to another human being who's been mean to another human being and I, I my game can get lost in where that line is and so regardless of that I want to do a tapping round because with all of the feelings and the emotions and the pain and the hurt and and then you throw in COVID in the middle of all this and should people be out and we're protesting and there's fear and it's just so much I feel like there's just so much and this is this is humanity humanity's been dealing with this for a long time and it's just we're seeing it so painfully is that this is something that I can do this is something that you can do as an individual that might uh, I believe help start to shift the pattern because um, it's got to happen on all levels it's got to happen on the energy underneath and it's got to happen on the you know integrating of the things um, I think Resma in my grandmother's hand says we have to metabolize our trauma um, which I think is a great way to say it and we've got to do that and we yes we also have to have policies in place and we need to have changes in our culture and it's so much so anyway let's do some tapping if you have never tapped before or you don't know what that means um, it's called emotional freedom technique then definitely go watch my um, how to tap video I'll put the link in the notes below this video before you do the tapping emotional freedom technique is a, can, a very different can be very different but it's a very powerful way to help integrate and sort of metabolize emotions um, and it's kind of weird because we say a lot of negative things so go watch that video on how to do it and then come back and follow along with me um, so I want you, we're not going to do a setup statement for this one, I'm just going to, wherever you're at, just take a moment and I want you to tune into your body. And I just want you to feel where you're feeling this in your body. It's almost like the pain of the human, of the human race, you know, um, and that pain may or may not be directly connected to some of the traumas that we're experiencing visually in our media right now. And I want you to just notice where it is in your body and I want you to feel it and I want you to really get in tune with it because that's what we're going to tap through and you can use words other than my words if that helps if it feels better 
Um, and um, you can kind of take a note on a scale of one to 10 how intense that feeling is in your body. If one is nothing and 10 is a lot, because uh, generally after a tapping round, it will have gone down. So take a note of that and just feel where it is, whatever it's at, and let's just start tapping. It's so much, so much pain, so much injustice, so much suffering, so much meanness, so much sadness, so much pain. It hurts. It makes me angry. It's too much. I can't stay in my body for it. It's too much. I feel powerless even though I know that I can do something about it. But I don't know what. I'm doing my best. It hurts. What kind of human being treats other human beings like they don't exist? It's hard for me to imagine. It hurts my heart. It hurts my body. It pulls on the trauma of that human experience and it's overwhelming and scary and fearful and angering and I don't know if it's possible for me to feel any differently about it. I don't know if it's possible for things to ever get better because human beings have always been this cruel or crueler to one another and that breaks my heart even more because it feels like it's so simple it's a simple concept. Love others like you love yourself. Treat others the way you want to be treated. And for some reason, that just doesn't translate. And I feel angry and hurt and sad and scared and defensive and overwhelmed. I'm upset that our government doesn't do more. I'm upset that the people in charge don't do more. I'm upset that it feels like nothing has hardly changed. Even though people have been fighting for freedom and justice almost as long as the human race has existed. And maybe it's possible that we have had made some progress over all those years, but it's not enough. And in my lifetime, I don't know if we've made any progress that means anything at all. And I would like to believe that it can get better. I would like to believe that I don't have to witness this kind of pain and trauma and suffering individually or collectively for the rest of my life but I just don't know if I can. I don't understand how others can be so cruel, so disconnected, so different. And maybe that's part of it. 
that's part of the pain I'm seeing. It's not only painful to watch someone suffer at the hands of someone else, It's painful to experience and watch the person doing the damage. Because how hurt and broken are they to be able to do that to another human being? How hurt are they And that hurts even more. Everyone in the situation is hurt. Everyone is traumatized. Everyone wants the same thing emotionally, physically in their bodies, whether they know it or not. The settling of the trauma, the feeling of safety, The feeling of connection, the feeling of oneness, and the fact that there are still so many people who don't even have access to the consciousness that that is something they are craving deep within their human experience is just as painful to me as watching us hurt one another. So I'm going to take a deep breath and I'm going to do everything that I can do to change the situation energetically, emotionally, mentally, physically, however I'm called to. And this is something I can do right now that helps shift the energy, that helps shift the idea that we are separate. Because as much as I hurt and I'm angry and judgmental, rightfully so, of people who are hurting others, we somehow, fortunately or unfortunately, are the same. We're connected. And I can't heal. The situation can't heal until they do too. I wish there was more compassion and understanding. I wish we had models for that. I wish that more people would work to integrate their trauma their hurt, their wounding, so that we don't have to keep hurting one another because we can't stay in our bodies and feel the pain. All right, go ahead. Take a deep breath in and out. So I don't know if you want to tune back into your body, feel what you're feeling, feel if that energy has shifted at all. Based on the words of that round, I do not know if that was enough to take your number down a whole lot, but hopefully it helped. And do some more tapping. Tap out everything you're hurt, everything you're angry. and. I would encourage all of us from whatever place we're in, whatever we're struggling with the most, is that if, and this is something I'm saying to myself individually, I'm working to do this at places in my life, of where can I find a thread of compassion for the person on the other side? It doesn't mean I have to agree with them. It doesn't mean I have to even be in relationship with them. It doesn't mean that I have to not have, you know, rightful, like, feelings that are important and protect myself but how can I find some compassion for them because that's how we start to change things like that is how things change is that right now we're just so broken and it hurts so much and at the same time this makes me emotional 
at the same time, we're so close. I just wish that more people could do the work to be brave enough to be in their hearts for even a fraction of every day. And using stuff like EFT is part of how I do that for myself. And I hope that maybe it's something that you can pass on or find how to do that for you and know that I am holding all of you in my heart and as much of the world as I can um, and allowing myself to feel and metabolize and relate with that pain that is just so present in the emotional and energetic field right now. So thanks for listening and for tapping and um, keep taking care of yourselves.